Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to day four of Dollar Tree Week here on my channel. Today I have some super easy DIYs I wanted to share with you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. So let's hop into it. For my first DIY, I took this little white geometric looking tea light holder and I also took two of the succulents that are from Dollar Tree and I clipped off the stem of the succulent so that I could use them to put on top of the little tea light area because I wanted to make it more into a little flower arrangement versus um, a candle. So I just placed them where I wanted them to go and then I added some glue to the area once I figured out where exactly they were touching at. I kind of glued the flowers to each other instead of onto the, the actual vase so that I could reuse the vase if I wanted to. Next up I took this candle from Dollar Tree and some of these gold tacks that are from Dollar Tree as well. I saw this DIY on Pinterest and I wanted to try it because it looked super easy. Turns out it's not quite as easy as it looks. The thumbtacks stick in there very easily but it's a little bit difficult kind of getting them lined up correctly so if you wanted to take some more time and measure it out you could or if you wanted to do a design of some sort but I just kind of wanted to place them around sporadically and I just made my way all the way around it. I didn't have an actual design in my head but I still think it looked really cool how it turned out. This definitely wouldn't be a great DIY if you were actually wanting to light the candle but if you're wanting to just use the candle for decoration purposes I think this is a really cute easy way to have the candle. I love the way that these two look paired together and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I will show you where I'm actually using them as decor in my home. Next up, I'm taking this white candlestick, the same one that I used in the last DIY, and I'll be using this black candlestick. I will also be using this ribbon with the white lace around it and this other ribbon that has the black polka dots on it. I think that's so cute. I love both of these so much, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, so I decided I would just go ahead and do both of them. So I just took a um, LED, candle and wrapped the ribbon around it and glued it and voila you have two super cute farmhouse style candles that you can actually turn on and have lit up since it's battery operated next up I took this candle holder from again Dollar Tree and I wanted to make it into a little solar lantern so I took one of these solar lights that is again from Dollar Tree and I just took the base of it off you just pop it right off it comes off super easy and I just tried to set it in there but you could see it was too tall setting that in so I took that middle part off and just used the very top and it sets right in there perfectly I mean it's a little wobbly but it sits in there good enough for me you could obviously glue it if you wanted to I tried putting the top back on it and it doesn't sit as well as um, it does when it's kind of pushed down in there you could really do it either way you could also glue that to the um, the actual twisted part of the lantern if you wanted to but I love the way that it turned out it works so well it lights up really pretty gives off that much light for my walkway area and I just am obsessed with these I think they turned out so cute I did I think five or six of them and you will also see those in another Dollar Tree decorating video soon where you can see them in the daylight as well. I wanted to make another kind of solar light, one that didn't hang and I used on my patio table. You can see that this one is a little bit taller than the last one that I just used. So I wanted to see if I could fit the solar lantern in there with just the bottom detached off of it and it fits perfectly. You literally don't have to do anything else other than pop the bottom off and stick it in the little jar. It looks really beautiful on my outside patio table and I just love the way that it turned out. For my last DIY, I saw a DIY on YouTube by Jay Mooney, 
DIY, I think is her channel. I will have it linked down below. But she made a tray using like a little serving tray or decorative tray using picture frames from Dollar Tree. So I am here trying to recreate what she um, did. Again, I will have that video linked down below. So what she did was take three frames from the Dollar Tree, take the glass out of the frames, I didn't get the exact frames that she got. Looking back, I wish I would have, but you'll see what kind of went wrong. But I followed her DIY and I took the little clasp out of two of them and you leave one of them with the clasps on because you will be using that as your base to hold the glass that you already took out. I took the other two picture frames and laid them on top of each other how they would be sitting as the tray. I wish I would have gotten just a straight across edge like she did. I instead got this kind. The next step is to glue all of the frames together. I'm using E6000 glue. You wanna use a good amount of glue so that it really adheres to one another and will be able to withstand some weight if you put actual weight on the tray. A little bit of glue um, spilled out from the side of the frames from where I placed them on top of each other. So I just took a wet cloth and wiped that around. Next, I took all the glass and I put lots and lots of glue to really adhere it to one another because the glass will be covered up. Obviously, if you wanna keep it just glass, you won't be able to do it like that. I followed her DIY, so I knew I was going to be covering the glass and I just stack them one on top of each other and let them dry. Once they were dry, I took this contact paper that I recently hauled from Dollar Tree and I placed it over the glass to kind of measure it out. Then I went ahead and I cut around it just to make it a smaller piece for me to work with. Once I had it cut close to size, I went ahead and started placing it down. If you can have two people help you with this, I find it easier because they can help you work out the bubbles. This contact paper is pretty easy to work with though and you can lift it up multiple times until you get all the bubbles out and make it look exactly how you want it to. I still have a couple little bubbles in mind, but it worked good enough. I wouldn't say my tray is as perfect as hers, but it works. Next up, I wanted to spray paint my frames white. Here's where I think her DIY turned out much better than mine. My spray painting did not turn out as well with those frames. I think my frames were a little bit off and I think that has to do with the actual frames that I got. If you can get a straight edge that doesn't have any like little ridges in it, I think you're gonna be better off. Again, this will work, but it's not the most perfect DIY. But I went ahead and stuck the glass back in just how she did and I put the clasp down. If you are going to be using this as a serving tray, I would go ahead and glue where each clasp is just to secure it even more and if you wanted to actually glue it around the frame and all of that, if you're going to be putting much weight on it, this would be the time to do it. I still think it looks pretty cool though as a serving tray. I am going to try and fix up the sides later on, but I just wanted to give you guys this idea in case you wanted to do a serving tray similar to this. And again, you can watch the original video that I saw this where she does an even better job. To make it a complete serving tray, I went to Home Depot and I got these little handles that were in you know, the knobs and pulls section. They were only two bucks a piece and I was debating on keeping them the color that they are, but I decided to go ahead and spray paint them gold. I then attached it to the top of the frame, just like it would be a handle for a serving tray. And I think it turned out really cute. Again, it's not perfect. I think that the original DIY looked a little bit better than this one, but the attempt was there and I'll still probably use this. And again, I'm still gonna probably try and fix up the paint on the side, maybe take some white chalk paint and go over it. And I think that might look really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out these Dollar Tree DIYs. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I show some more Dollar Tree decorating and how I actually use some of these DIYs in my home. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree and you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. We still have a few more days of a Dollar Tree week here on my channel to go. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.